friends, I am back with the Antina Tina 2 Plus. Today we're going to use some custom filaments, so let's get cracking. All right, everybody, we are back with the Tina 2 Plus, and check it out. We've got new custom filament. Now, Antina did have a sticker that said don't use anybody else's filament. I contacted them. They said it's fine, but they can't guarantee it's going to work. Now, I bought a standard 250 milligram roll from a company called Zbot. It is awesome, fun silk, but watch this. When I put the 250 gram on here, it slides in and it won't spin. This little adapter is not really built for 250 grams, it appears. It is instead built for the smaller reels that come with the antenna. But of course, friends, I have got a solution. Check it out. I have designed in Tinkercad an adapter that just slides over, gives us a little bit of room, and allows that to sit on there and spin the way you want to. It is super simple. It'll print on this bed, takes less than an hour, and you'll be able to use reels that you get from other companies. How cool is that? <laughs> Quick note, of course, this file will be available on my website. I'll also have a link in the description of the video. As you can see, this one is completely filled in. I've been adjusting the versions this just slips on. There may be a new version when you go to download it, but as you can tell, they will all have been tested. Right now though, let me walk you through filament changing. We simply move to prepare, press the knob in, and then rotate to change filament, and press the knob again. We want the change filament option, and we are going to choose the PLA option because that's what the printer shipped with. The nozzle takes about a minute to heat up. I sped this up with video editing tools. And at this point, you'll see the little gear on the extruder spinning, and the filament will be removed. You may have to squeeze and pull yours out. At this point, simply insert your filament. Notice you can squeeze and push that up in, and wait patiently for filament to purge. Notice you continue to let it go until you see the new color come out. You can always click Purge More if you want more purge to come out, or you can finish up by clicking continue. Our print today is gonna to be this fantastic Tinkercad turtle. As you can see, this has the parts to make the project. Also, there are notes that show you how to get to the tutorial. Right now, I simply wanna export our adorable turtle. So I'm gonna click on him and I'm gonna choose export the STL. Now notice I only have the selected shape. I do not want all the other parts and I can simply click the STL button. I save everything to a 3D modeling folder and I'm just gonna keep the make a turtle tutorial name and hit save. It says there already was one. I'm just gonna simply hit save to replace it. All right, friends, this is Kira. Once again, if you haven't set this up yet, I do have a tutorial. I will put a link up here in the corner so you can follow that to get yours set up the way mine is. Now, the first thing we wanna do is grab our file. Once again, we can click this folder, find the make a turtle and bingo it comes in notice right now i've got draft settings my layers are 0 0.2 0 0.8 for the top bottom 10 percent infill 210 50 and 50 for the main numbers and then down here i use skirt this makes a line on the outside of your print when you start i use this so that i can tell that the print is going to be successful if this outside part sticks well, then this will stick. I do adjust some settings. Let me show you how to find them. If you type skirt up here, it will show you all the skirt settings. The ones that I change, I make it five and I make it 10 millimeters away. So that way it'll be outside the shape. I have also adjusted a preference in Kira. If we click on this, I have slice automatically enabled. You may have to click slice so that you can see it. If we switch to preview mode, now you can easily see those five lines of skirt that will be added to this turtle print. Real quickly, I'm gonna insert my SD card. There you can see the files that were on it. I'm gonna minimize that for a second. Now this says saved removable disc. It shows it's gonna take about 21 minutes and bingo, we can hit eject and take it to the 3D printer. Of course, we can start the print by pressing it in, rolling down to print from TF, and there is the Make a Turtle project. Press it in, and 
press it in again. Easy peasy. After a little more than 20 minutes, check it out. We have got an awesome little turtle created in Tinkercad and printed on the Tina 2 Plus. How cool is that? Friends, let's wrap this up on my website, ahlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with all sorts of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find my day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Now today though we're working with 3D printers so let's bounce out to the 3D printer tab. Right here is the downloads area where you can download that filament arm that I created using Tinkercad. Returning quickly to that Tino 2 Plus link, it gets you to the Tino 2 Plus unboxing and setup video. Of course a link to their website and the full playlist that has all of my Tino content. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching.